Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May, I'm May. Welcome to my older new subbies, I'm so glad to have you all here with me. Today is the thumbnail show. We are going to be making some Christmas ornaments using some tower tumbling blocks. Now, the blocks I'm going to be using are from Dollar Tree and Five Below. I'm also be, I'm going to be using some of the little miniature wood cubes that you can find in the crafter section at Dollar Tree as well. So as you see, we're already jumping into project number one because we need to get through all 10 of these guys so all right so you can see right there i just went in with some of my silver leaf golden but um silver <laughs> silver leaf rub and buff <laughs> and i also used some white paint by waverly so i did that on four of the tower tumbling blocks that you can get from dollar tree i did four of each and um what you see i'm doing right here is i'm taking some of my eileen's tacky glue and a little bit of hot glue to put these two together now I could have done this before I painted them and used some wood glue but you know I just was like I didn't feel like that trying to get all crevices and stuff so it just seemed to be easier this way for me so what I'm doing um, as you can see there we are going to be making a snow flake ornament here and so I was trying to think of a way to do this without having to cut the blocks down to make them fit together and this is what I came up with now it is gonna look a little bit like a you know funny shaped ferris wheel but I think I'm gonna bring it together for you guys so what I did to cover that center to, to what I did to oh my goodness he can't get through it not in the first two minutes okay <laughs> what I did to cover up that center was I took one of my one and a half inch wood medallions that I did cover using that same uh, silver leaf rub and buff and then I'm just going in with some faux snow here and at first I was just going to do it on that middle piece but I was like you know what I think it would look cuter just covered the, if the whole thing was covered in the faux snow so that's what I did and I gotta tell you I don't I was on the fence should I put the little cubes on the white portion of this or leave it as is so I just decided to um just put it on the four and it looks a little weird i don't know it looks like a a, a, a jumping jack not a jumping jack a, a, what is not cracker jack what is it what's the game what is the game with the ball and the jacks i don't know y'all know <laughs> jacks i guess that's the name of it all right so anyway i'm being joined by my good friend jenny my sister my friend from lovely moments creating we wanted to come together and give you 20 awesome ideas so i'll be doing 10 she'll be doing 10 and i can't wait to see what what she has for you guys you guys know the drill we always come together we wanted to do something extra um this month and bring you guys two videos so um stop by tell her i said hey i'll be over to check her out in a minute and if you came by here from her channel and it's your first time visiting me please consider joining my little youtube family now i am going to be using the tower tumbling blocks in different fashions not so much as building everyone i think it's only two that i'm just going to be incorporating the um tower tumbling blocks into and also there's going to be two that are going to be shelf sitters so i actually let me correct myself I actually, I'm actually going to be doing eight ornaments and two shelf sitters. So, just so you know that. All right. But you can take those shelf sitters and turn them into ornaments if you want. Okay. So, right here, as you see, pretty self explanatory. I have these little church cutouts that I um, stained in that same silver leaf rubbing buff. Okay. <laughs> and then I took some of my fairy lights, wrapped them around, and I used the tower tumbling block in the middle to separate the two because I wanted the lights to come through because you guys know me, you know, I have to light some stuff up. Okay. So I'm just putting that battery pack on the back of the church house and it's fine it's not going to take away from the image of this it's actually going to kind of push that light a little um a bit forward for you to see so i'm sorry i'm out of frame right here but if you look closely in the glass there you'll see what i'm doing you may not make out what i'm doing but you'll see what i'm doing <laughs> so right here i'm taking some of this um faux leather um, twine that I have and I'm just tying it off in a loop and I'm going to create this for the hanger of this little church 
ornament and I think it's absolutely adorable I did add in a paper flower here those came in a pack from Hobby Lobby or Michaels I honestly can't remember but guys you will see everything at the final reveal um I forgot to put them in the middle I've been trying to get better at that trying to put the um, end results in the middle middle of each um project but I forgot so at the end like old faithful you guys will see it <laughs> And then right here, um, I took uh, three of the smaller tar tummy blocks. I glued them together. And now I'm just taking some of um, one of these uh, stir sticks. And I'm using those just to keep it in place. I don't think I really needed it. But, you know, why not? I, I just did it just for the sake of doing it. Okay. So, as you can see there, I painted three in white, one in black. Again, still adding in some security here. That's all I'm doing. I don't know why I left so much of that in there, but there you go. Okay, so once we do that, I'm going to take this um, bamboo wood dowel. I got these off of Amazon, huge pack of them, cut it down to size of what I just felt like I needed. I didn't measure this out, but if I had to guess, I would say I cut it down to about two inches in length. And this is going to be the brim of the hat for our snowman. So, yes. All right. So, now what I'm doing is I am drawing in a face. Very, very simple. Very basic. Nothing extreme or, you know, all that about this. <laughs> I'm just doing my bare minimum of what I know to do. Because, as you guys know, if you've been here with me any time, I am not an artist. So, but I will try to fake it until I make it. And I don't know when I'm going to make it. I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. But we're going to keep going. So, I'm just drawing in the face. Giving him the eyes, the nose, the dotted mouth. And there you have a little snowman face. So, we're just going to go in. Start adding in a little bit of embellishment. Now, I'm using some of these stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. And... Um, do I add anything else? I think I do. Oh, I do give him a little bit of a bow tie at the bottom. Well, I don't give him a little bit of a bow tie. I give him a bow tie. It's a sticker bow tie. And that's what I give him. And there you go. And we're all done with this. And we're going to add a string to the back of this. And again, you guys will see this all in the final reveal. All right. Good to go. So I'm just using jute rope. And I don't know what kind of loop or knot this is that I'm making to hold the string up. But that's what I'm doing. And I do that for all of them, really, guys. But I tr I don't think I left it left that in, that portion of it for all of them. So, you know, just be prepared for that. You won't see the loop on all of them. But you might. Who knows? I can't remember what all I edited out of this. I recorded this a few days ago. So, you know, there's, there's that. Okay. <laughs> So next, I'm taking two of the medium-sized tower tumbling blocks that you can find at Five Below. So, Five Below has the uh, medium size, and then they have those giant ones, which I have not seen in a while. So, if you can't find them, you can definitely put together, I would say, four of the Dollar Tree um, tower tumbling blocks. And make the same, I'm sorry, not the, the, oh my goodness. Put together four of the large tower tumbling blocks that you can get for five below. And I think they would make about the same size difference. So here, what I'm doing is taking some of my greenery um, picks and I'm just cutting them down. And we're just going to make a Christmas tree, guys. That's what we're doing here. We're using the base of the tower tumbling blocks as the tree trunk and yep we're just layering the greenery on there until i get it to a desired um look and that's pretty much it so to match it off i just go in with some of my white paint by waverly and i'm just going in and dabbing that all over to give it that flock look now you don't have to do this it's just that some of the greenery pieces or pine pick pieces whatever you want to call them um had some glitter on them and i didn't have any glitter paint that i wanted to pull out well i had some glitter paint i just didn't want to pull it out so i decided to go with white paint instead so now i'm just taking some of these little um, um, ornament embellishments that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And I'm just putting them on there. No rhyme. No reason. Just adding them to this tree. Um, just until I get it, again, to a desired look um, that I'm going for. And you'll see here. Uh, what else do I do? 
I don't know what else I do, guys. This what this is what happens. This is what you should do when when you do your editing. You should just go in and just do your voiceover at the same time because <laughs> you forget what you do. <laughs> All right. So I add in a little bitty reef that also came from Hobby Lobby, and I add in one more white piece. And I don't know why I put that off to the side like that, but I did. But anyway, it's on there now. It's nothing I could do. I could always go back and remove it, but I just put them in there and it kept rolling. All right, and that's pretty much it for this piece. I do add a hanger. I don't think I left that on here for you guys to see, but if I did, I apologize. I'm sorry. I mean, if you've seen one hanger, you've seen them all, but I felt like you may have needed to see another one. So, oh, see, I did the right thing, and I didn't leave it in there. So this next one, I don't know what number we're on, and I don't know which project this. Oh, I know which project this is. So we're going to make a cross ornament. So I'm taking three of the Dollar Tree tire tumbling box and one of the miniature cubes that you can find at Dollar Tree as well and I'm just using my wood, wood glue to put them together and I'm going to make the shape of a cross so now the little miniature wood that I cannot talk oh my goodness and I'm hoarse on top of that guys my voice keeps going in and out huh. okay so the miniature cube, what I was going to say is it's a, it's a bit wider than the um, tower tumbling box. So you are going to have some overhang should you choose to recreate this. But it actually works to your advantage because when you add um, the string on to for the hanger, you can actually tuck it underneath that part. So it actually works out in your favor. So here I'm taking some more of the little greenery picks. Uh, pieces adding those in then I'm gonna take this one of these cardinals that I think it's cardinals right yes the red cardinal and adding that right in the top on top of there and I'm gonna go in with a pre-made little miniature bow that I had and that's gonna be it for this one guys I did some distressing on it with some white paint but that was it literally like super easy right super easy super fast super cute super super duper <laughs> All right, so now if you guys have a lot of leftover gift wrapping paper, I know I do a lot of time. I don't wrap a lot of gifts anymore, but you do tend to have a lot of gift wrapping paper left over. And if sometimes you don't know what you want to do with it or you don't want to use it the next year, I figure why not take some of that um, print and put it on some of the tower tumbling blocks and make some really cute ornaments. Now, I have picked this wrapping paper up from oh, TJ Maxx. It was $3.99. I don't know how many feet, yards, whatever you get, but it was a lot. Okay? And it had the individual pictures, the snowman, the ice skate, Christmas tree, Santa Claus, all of those things. And I was like, you know, these are really cute. You can frame them if you want it. Um, but here I'm just making a top hat using the tower tumbling blocks. I painted them all in black. I did that off camera because I didn't do anything special with it. And of course this gives me the opportunity as well to do some deco poshing. So I'm just going in with some Mod Posh giving it a nice solid coat. I go over the whole piece because I want the whole shine to um, not the shine but you know give the same finished look. So once I add the piece of the gift wrapping paper on there i'm not going to go over with the mod podge i didn't think i really needed to because i think it was going to be on here pretty still but i do go around the edges of it but because it already had that shiny finish i wanted it to blend with the wood pieces if that makes sense but that's literally all i did with that um then i decided to go in with some of this very thin gold ribbon it's like a sheer gold ribbon that i picked up from um I don't know. I don't know if I got it from Walmart, from Walmart or Hobby Lot. I don't know where the ribbon came from, but I had it, okay? And so I'm just going around the brim of the hat with it, and I don't do anything special. Just add a little bit of hot glue um, as I go around it. I don't, I think I did wrap it all the way around, but um, that's all I do with that. And yes, that's what I'm doing. So, yep. I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody had a good weekend. By the time you see this, I know the weekend will probably be approaching the next weekend. By the time you guys see this vi video, uh, <laughs> I was out of town. And when I came back, I was just hitting the ground running. So, um, it'll probably be next weekend by the time you guys see this. But anyway, I go in with some of my pearl embellishments there in the color pink. And I thought that would just be a nice added touch. I thought the snowman was so cute. 
I absolutely love it. It has that really true nostalgia feel to it. And I absolutely like the way that came together. So for the next one, we're going to take some more of this gift, gift wrapping paper. The one using the uh, printout of the Christmas tree. And I'm just cutting it down to size because I took four of the um, Dollar Tree totaling blocks. I put, or I used five. Yeah, I did three in the middle and two on the side. Um, just to give it about the same length of this cutout piece and the paint I used on there is the succulent color that you can find by folk art it, it almost matched perfectly so I pretty much did the same thing that I did for the top hat I did with this one I'm just gonna go in and make sure it's nice and sealed and I have to say that um, the gift wrapping paper although it's thin it is very forgiving you will get some wrinkles here but I was not overly concerned about that because you could literally just rub them out. You just have to rub them out with your finger or if you have a sponge, that's a technique I like to use as well. So here I am also adding in some more of that gold ribbon on the top and the bottom. And it almost, I don't know, it just reminded me of a little cute candy bar wrapper. I don't know why. Don't ask me, guys. It just did. Like it could have been a pack of bubble gum or something, you know? I don't know. That's where my mind went when I saw it. I was like, this is so cute. This is absolutely adorable. But you know what? I was thinking, I was like, this would actually look cute hanging from like a rear view mirror. Don't ask me why again. But this is this is the places that my brain goes, guys. Don't forget that I am in collaboration today with my good friend Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating. Stop by, tell my friend I said hello, and I can't wait to see what she has going on for you guys. So, once I get that done, and of course I did not paint the bag because, you know, that's what I do. That's how I roll. Yep. <laughs> and for this one, um, the hanging piece, I am going to use a piece of that gold ribbon. And we're going to move into the next project, guys, because we are on a roll. We are trying to get through this. We're almost to the finish line. All right. So next up, I took one of the jumbo tower tumbling blocks, three of the smaller ones you get from Dollar Tree and one of the miniature cubes. And we're going to make a little train. I thought that would be awesome. So the paint I am using is black paint by Folk Art. I use some of the red engine paint by Folk Art and some splendid gold paint by Deco Art, if I'm not mistaken. If it wasn't Deco Art, it was also um, Folk Art. And then next what I'm doing is I took some of these plaid buttons that I had in my stash I did get those from Hobby Lobby as well and those I'm going to use as the wheels now you also see sitting right there one of my plaid straws that I used and I recently used those in a challenge that I had was a just our imagination challenge so I had a few left over and I thought it would be cute to incorporate it into this train ornament so you'll see what I'm going to do with that in just a few minutes so I don't really measure these out where the little the wheels are going to go I just eyeball it and it seemed to work out perfectly um it may have been off slightly but you really can't tell so next I was like okay I think the train needs windows and I think so that's what I did I caught myself drawing on a little window I do go back in later and you'll see where I color that in because you couldn't really tell that I had drew a line there so what I did with the straw was I made a little smoke stack for the train is that what it called is is it a smoke stack I don't know the little choo-choo part the little part that blows the smoke out that's the part that's the part that the straw is playing in all of this okay so yeah just roll with me here now this is where I'm shading in the windows and again I don't know if it really looks like a train more like a train truck but it's gonna be a train right now okay so I color in the windows then I'm looking I was like oh that's so cute it looks like a train may so then I was like let's take some of this juice twine cut it down stuff it in the smokestack then we're gonna set it on fire mm-hmm yep I decided to play with fire in this video and let y'all bear witness to it mm-hmm I sure did almost burnt down the crafting table yep I sure did and I was just going I was burning I was burning it I was really getting that fire going yes so I grabbed my little napkin I had there from uh when I was doing my um staying in and I'm like oh my oh okay and then I didn't stop I kept going and almost burnt it all the way down to the straw and so there we have it so now we're moving on to I think this is project number eight this is going to be a shelf sitter okay so I had this little cupcake cup in my stash that I was going to use on something else and I never used it took three of the medium size sour tumbling blocks I glued those on top of there I glued them together painted them in that succulent color paint then I'm taking this 
candle um is this candle wreath uh, pick that I had and I just glued that on top of there as you see this really is all self-explanatory I'm taking this little reindeer who has his head turned backwards I don't know why Dollar Tree does that but the head is turned backwards and the antlers are turned the other way but nonetheless I used it anyway stuck it right in there in there in the middle it went in nice and snug but I did add just a dab of glue to it now I'm taking some of these berries I have pulled off of a pick of mine and I'm just stuffing those right in the corner because I had a bit of a blank space and whenever my eyes see blank spaces like that it just can't absorb the whole project so I had to put something there and that's what I came up with so then I add a bow to him I do snatch the bow off and put it towards the front because the head facing the wrong way was really throwing me off but I figure if I put the bow in the front and if somebody's looking at it they wouldn't really focus on the head they focus on the bow and there you have it so now we're moving on to the project last project of the day and right here it's just one of the large uh, tower of tumbling blocks it's a jumbo one and I have these wooden piece um, wooden word stickers laser cutout stickers that I had that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby and I took the word piece put it on top of here I took some of the 3d stickers that I also got from Hobby Lobby and you can get these um, type of stickers I do believe Dollar Tree had some similar to this if I'm not mistaken you can use those taking another one of those cardinal court uh, court cardinals sorry cardinals <laughs> Putting that on there as well, I felt like the piece was blending in too much with the wood, um, with the tower tumbling block. So I just went in with some of my burnt umber paint to highlight it. And there you have it. I'm going to add a hanger right on the top of there. I realized I had the sticker on incorrectly, so I flipped that over. And you can just add a little hot glue to that to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And we're going to put this the hanging piece right on top. And there you, it goes, guys. And here here we are with the final reveal so lovies if you have a favorite of today let me know if you like them all let me know but either way if you have not done so please consider liking subscribing sharing and commenting just because you know how i feel about those comments i love to chat with you guys after each and every video so please keep them coming and i just want to say thank you lovies thank you for always being here with me coming back each week to share in my shenanigans and having fun let's laugh i love it i love reading your comments they make me laugh they make my heart smile so i just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking time out of your your day to spend it with me i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart so let me know how you feel about this final reveal and also lovies don't forget i am in collaboration with my good friend jenny from lovely moments creating where i will have her information in my description box below so click in there go over check her out because she has 10 more ideas waiting for you guys and I know they're going to be awesome because that's what Jenny does and I appreciate her tell her I said thank you for hanging out with me today and thank you loveys for hanging out with me as well so I'm gonna shut my mouth and let you guys finish watching the final reveal so until the next time loveys be safe be kind and happy crafting your days away hugs and kisses xoxo bye